Hi folks, uh, so this question here is a short question from the 2012 uh, section A uh, from the higher level paper. It's uh, primarily focused on the topic on perspective. So you can see here if we read the question, it is question A4 in the 2012 paper. The graphic below shows a litter bin and logo. The drawing on the right is a partially completed perspective view of this bin. Mm -hmm. And you can see here we're kind of given a pictorial view, okay? And we're given a partially completed um, structure here in the perspective, and we're given the plan view of the structure here, okay? But then it says complete the perspective drawing of the bin using an auxiliary vanishing point for the sloping surfaces. So that's an important one there. Often the difference in higher level and ordinary level is they'll ask you at higher level to get auxiliary vanishing points. Uh, especially in a short answer question and always generally in a long answer question as well when it does come up. But before we get on to the auxiliary vanishing point, uh, we're going to actually complete some of the detail that we can do before we get the auxiliary. So I'm going to start putting in, you can see here on the drawing, we've obviously got a side face here and we have the bin structure here as well, okay, that I'm going to start putting in. So to get that side face of the structure, you can see we're already given some vanishing points. So that side face is running in this direction. Okay, so from there it has to go parallel. So from here it's going to go to BP1. And then I can heavy in that portion right there. Okay, so I've got that side face in. Now I want to get the front face. So the front face is obviously this and this will be at the same height. It would make sense because they're symmetrical. So to find that it's going in this direction. So from here, it's actually going to vanish over to BP2. Okay, now where that has gone through this line here at that point, that's going to determine to me the height of that bit there. Okay, now that I have the height of that, I can also put in this as well. Okay, now before I get on to the auxiliary vanishing point, which should be the next part, I'm going to complete this kind of a bin design here. And you can see they give you a little clue over here. Okay, you can see the bin basket. And every one of them converges at this point down here, right there. So we're just going to have to find that, and we can see it's located here. So every one of these points here, I'm simply going to connect them down ever so lightly. Trying to keep my drawing neat and structured. And then every one of those points as well. And connect over to BP2. Then it's simply a case after that of heavying in the detail. I'm going to use BP2 as a guide. Now, getting all the ones going vertically. A little bit of ink from the pen there, apologies. Okay, so there you can see it. Apologies for that, just a little bit of ink there. Uh, now, we've actually got that front portion done. We kind of have the pitch of the bin structure here. Now, the next bit I'm just going to focus on is the flat ridge here at the top. That's running in this direction here. So I've already got this point. So somewhere along the back is going to be another point there, okay? But to find that, we are going to have to locate an auxiliary vanishing point. Now, what is an auxiliary vanishing point? Okay, you can see here we've already got two vanishing points, VP1 and VP2, okay? They are for any flat surface lines that we have, okay? Because this is parallel to the ground and this is obviously on the ground. They would both vanish to VP1. Likewise, the one's going to work to this side. An auxiliary vanishing point is when you have maybe a sloping surface. So if I was just to take the angle that might be in between, okay, a flat surface there and there, let's say it was 30 degrees, we would often use an auxiliary vanishing point to help us find sloping surfaces. Now, what's helpful to us here is they already give us one edge of that sloping surface, okay? So often, sometimes you might actually be told to use the angle, but because we're given one edge, if I was to just extend that on, okay, all the way over, because the surface is running in this direction, the sloping surface is going in this direction, therefore it has to be on the VP2 side. I'm going to extend that out, best I can, all the way out to here. 
and you can see where that line there cuts through right up here that there is going to give us an AVP which I'm going to call it just AVP1 that's our auxiliary vanishing point now what's important to note is that helped us determine this front one it can also help us to determine the back one okay so once I connect that down to here it'll help me determine this point as well you can see here by connecting it down like that I can now heavy in this portion of the roof okay so that's that portion of it done okay at the top of the bin now we have to get obviously there's an edge inside here at the back and there's also an edge you can see here we kind of have to get these edges in here so I'm looking for this edge this edge and this one and I think we actually have one here at the back as well which is the opening at the back like we have here at the front so I assume that point there will be at the same height as this point okay but the first one I'm going to focus on is this one this one and this one so to find this edge there that's running in this direction so it's going to be parallel to VP1 so from here I'm going to go over to VP1 okay uh, to find exactly where it finishes then I'm going to have to bring this down to the, my spectator so my spectator is here this is the point where it finishes at the back where it hits the pitch plane then using a little bit of sliding set scores here project this down until it hits just make sure I think that's the point there just to be certain yep now I've got that point it's very helpful to me now that I've got this point here okay I can now actually extend that down probably should have extended that further apologies it's actually gone down a little bit further there excuse me <coughs> excuse me sorry now that we've got that portion there I can see then that this point here would actually connect up there like that because I have this point I'm simply just going to connect it to there I'm only going to heavy in that portion okay so you can see here we've now got those three lines and the one that I'm actually missing is this one here and as I said previously it's at the same height as the bin so from here from this section right there I'm going to vanish that over as far as BP1 now that's after determining this point right here to me at that point right there that's running in this direction so it'll actually go to BP2 okay and if I was just to extend that over obviously using my construction line and there you have it guys um, that there is uh, the uh, sorry that there is the 2012 uh, section A question 4 based on the topic of perspective perspective at higher level okay little tricky part in that one is obviously just locating the auxiliary vanishing point uh, to get the slope surface here at the top on the roof okay there is other ways you could obviously go about completing that but that's the way they asked us to do it in the question so we have to follow what they do okay so I hope you found it helpful guys that's that question